Okay, we're back at chapter seven, the mid-level. This time we're taking a look at step number four, which tells us in cell O10, enter a database function to count the number of pieces where the comment is highly valuable. And then just make a note that it says the criteria are located in N6 and N7. All right, so we're gonna go over to the spreadsheet. I'm on cell O10. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. Um, all right, so we're going to start out with, we're using a count function, right? It tells us to count the number of occurrences. The only difference that makes it a database function is that we begin with the letter D, and we, we need it to be a database function because what we're doing is we're alerting Excel to say, hey, our information is in records. Okay, and then we'll remember that the count function counts the number of numeric values, count A, counts all occurrences, and we're working with text because we need it to find the highly valuable, so we'll use D count A, and then you can either hit tab on your keyboard or double click it, and the first input value or the first argument to your function is Excel needs to know, like, hey, where's your database? So I'm going to scroll over. Our database is A1 all the way through, come on, L, and then all the way down, it's 100 something, we'll go all the way down through, what do we got here, 165. Then we type in a comma to separate our arguments, back up, I'm just scrolling back up and over so you can see my, um, I'm still in my function here. You add a comma to separate the function pieces or um, arguments. The next thing is let, um, we need to tell Excel what field do we want to match it against. And we want to match it against the comments. We're going to take the L. We want it to find all occurrences in the L, the comments column. Make sure you spell it right. No typos or it won't recognize it. Add another comma to separate out the last argument for our function is where's the criteria. And the step tells us the criteria is in N6 and N7. All right, wrap up your right-hand parentheses, hit enter, and there are 11 occurrences of that one. We use that exact same system for step number five, the D average, and step number six, the D sum. You're using the same database. You're just using different columns um, and the same criteria for, for those as well. All right, email me if you have any trouble.